Hi folks, I'm back with another episode of Baking Geek and uh, today we're going to be talking about white chocolate. Now white chocolate is a bit of a different beast than dark chocolate. Um, mainly being it's not actually a proper chocolate, it's just mainly an extract of the uh, cocoa butter. So that's the stuff that you're tasting is white chocolate. But I'm going to make a white chocolate ganache today and later I'm going to be using that in the middle section of a gatto. So I wanted to do this video first before we actually get into the gatto. Okay, so in saying that, what you're going to need for it is, now I've been buying this chocolate, right? Now these are, these are chocolate buttons. They're not the sort of stuff that you put in a cookie sort of button, they're the sort of one that you melt. Now it is a compound chocolate, so that'll be fine. Compound chocolate works out better in this situation anyway. Um, it doesn't require as much cream as regular ganache. So what you're gonna do is, I've tailor made this recipe, which I'll put up on the screen. I've tailor made this recipe for two packets of this. I figure that's about how much ganache I'm gonna need for the middle section of the cake anyway. And uh, it's not gonna take anywhere near enough as much cream, basically. So <clears throat> normally in a regular ganache, the cream will melt all the chocolate, but that's not the case in the white ganache because you're only using a little bit of cream instead of a lot of cream. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a bain-marie on the stove and we're just gonna finish it up on the stove. I find that unless you're doing a bolt mix where there's a lot of heat that's gonna go into it, that's gonna melt that white chocolate, um, I wouldn't use a planetary style mixer on this. The bowl's fine. We're just gonna stir it slightly with a whisk and finish it up, okay? All right, let's get this stuff on the stove. <clears throat> right. Anyway, I'll come back when the um, cream's, cream's boiled up. What you wanna do with the creams, you wanna bring it right up to the boil. You want it nice and hot, but um, yeah. You don't wanna, you don't, what you don't wanna do is boil your cream and then throw the chocolate in the same bowl because then you'll cook your chocolate and that's what you don't want it's going to put a nasty taste all the way through it anyway i'll be back in a minute okay so the cream is almost ready it's just about to come up to the boil you can tell and here it goes it's going to rise in the pot that's the way we want it we don't want to burn it there we go We'll pour it all over, let that heat sort of melt the chocolate. But I know there's not going to be enough heat in here, so that's why I've made the Bain Marie, which is basically a water, a pan full of water. And we're just going to stir it gently. And we're not, I don't want to see you stir, stir fast, folks, okay? That will help separate your cream, and then you know what happens when that happens. It, your cream separates into butter than water, and we all know what water does to chocolate, so. You know, you don't want to be doing that. So just combine it. <coughs> okay. I'm going to get the bain out. Okay. I'm just going to keep stirring it just to get the last of that chocolate melted all the way in just keep the stirring going now if, you, if you're thinking white chocolate looks a little bit on the yeah white ganache sorry looks a little bit on the yellow side um it, it is like it does take on a yellow tinge to it especially when it sets and if you do ever done a cake with it, it it'll look yellow but you can make it white. You put it in a planetary style mixer, give it a whiz, and it will change color into that nice pearly white that you need for your cake. All right, there's a pro tip. I can see the chocolate's all starting to melt now. And this ganache is looking beautiful. Okay. 
And once again, like the dark chocolate, this stuff has got a really nice shine to it. And, and that's what you want to see in your ganache. You don't want to see like a sandy type of texture. You know, that, that means you've, you've done something wrong. This is looking really good now. I'm going to pull this off. And that Bain Marie has just worked a treat, basically. Here we go. Nice big bowl of shiny white ganache. Yeah. That's going to look sensational. That's going to actually taste sensational in the middle of this cake that I'm planning. Anyway, folks, that's the episode. I'll see you later.